close till I get up. Time is Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Carly and I do makeup. <laughs> this video is gonna be so probably so awkward because it's my first video that I'm actually talking. So just get over it. I'm bored too. I created this look today. It's like a holiday glam. That's what everyone says, so yeah. But if you'd like to recreate this look that I'm wearing right now, then just keep watching. So I already moisturized my face, so now I'm going to use the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. And just apply it on my T-zone. Then I'm going to use this Born This Way Too Faced Foundation in the shade Pearl. I usually just pump it on my hand and then dot it on my face. And this is going to be really annoying. And I apologize for how awkward this video is going to be because this is my first video. Then I'm just gonna tap it out with a beauty blender. This one's from Real Techniques. Concealer by It Cosmetics, and it's almost gone. So I have to squeeze it. That was kind of a lot. And then you're gonna warm it up and put it under the places where you want to conceal. And right now I have really dry skin because it's winter and I'm sure everyone has dry skin right now. Okay, yeah, I obviously have a lot. And then I'm just gonna blend it in with your beauty blender. Okay, then you're just gonna take a pressed powder and I have this little kabuki brush. And just blend in any foundation. Then I just take translucent powder and put it under my eyes just to bake under the eyes so there's no creasing. Next, I'm just taking the Tardis Contour Palette. I'm gonna be starting off using the lightest one and just sculpting those cheeks. You want the darkest part to be up here and it should ombre down. And I usually, oh, 
I usually make that face when I do it. I'm going to take the darker shade in the palette, or the contour kit. And then I'm going to be doing the same thing, only going on top of the lighter shade. For contouring your nose, just take, I usually take the lighter and the darker shade on this little angled brush. Tap it out on the back of your hand. Can you even tell? I don't know, but I just like to do it. This is a foundation brush, but I usually take, I usually take this color and this color and mix them together and put them right underneath my eyes so it doesn't crease. I don't know why I'm talking so quiet. I kind of do everything out of order because I'm a mess. Then I'm going to take this Ulta eyebrow pencil in medium brown and draw in my eyebrows. and and I brush them out you want to set your eyebrows this is cella <laughs> defining gel this video is gonna be a mess now I'm gonna take some bronzer and I'm probably gonna break this thing. It's that shade right there. I think it's called Bahama Mama. Yeah. And then I'm gonna take that just a little bit and put that right here to warm it up the face. Take this blush by Studio Makeup. I think I got this in like a boxy charm or something. I'm just gonna use this little brush. And I usually don't put my blush. They say to put your blush at the apples of your cheek. But I never do that. I always put it in that area. Not over here and not right here, but right in the middle. And I find that looks the best on me. Let's curl our eyelashes. And we're going to be putting on fake eyelashes, so don't curl them too much or else. Just or else. You guys are gonna think this is insane, but I literally have two eyeshadow brushes. That's it. I don't have anything else. Because I'm a broke ass bitch for eyeshadow. Today we're gonna be using this beauty, the TARDIS Pro Eyeshadow Palette. We're going to be taking this one blending brush because <laughs> your girl has one blending brush and, and we're going to, as a base, let's put down the color Classic. So we're going to put that color down. I don't know if you can... You can obviously see this in 
I suppose we shouldn't be using a blending brush for this, but I do my own thing. Let's take the shade Chic, or is it Chic? <laughs> it's Chic. Let's take the shade Chic, and let's put it right as our transition shade. I usually take my transition shade like way up to the heavens because I like to see the shadow. Next, let's take the shade Mod. And it looks like, you can't see it, but it's a pinkyish shade. And we're just going to put that in the crease. A little bit more. And let's go right on the outer corner, really dark. And take this palette, the Naked 2. And we're going to use the shade Verve. I'm just going to take this on one of my fingers and and packing it on to my lid. a silvery color we're gonna take the shade drama and I'm going right on the outer I can't see going right on the outer corner and blending to give it more definition those beauty guru words and then I'm just going to take a tiny bit of smoked. It's just a dark brown color. And I'm just going to go right on the outside of drama to make it a little bit darker on the outside. And I'm just going to blend that in. I'm using this Moon Dust Urban Decay palette and Eventually, that silvery one to match our silver on our eyes. But first, we're going to take the NYX Glitter Primer and just put a little bit on your finger. Like, a very little bit. I don't like to wait for the glitter to dry, obviously. So we're just going to go right into this glitter and I'm just going to use my finger again because I use my finger for literally everything. Look how pigmented that is. And we're just going to put that on our lid. Take that Verve color again from the Naked 2 palette and then put it on top that smoked out shade and then just going to deepen the crease. And then I'm going to take Mod again and go right in the crease. I'm just going to do the same thing with the other eye. So for my wing, I'm just going to use the Tarnest Double Take Liner. And I'm going to be using the liquid side 
let's pray that this goes well because usually I mess up. Take the shade mod and just go underneath my what is it called? Waterline? Do the same. You're gonna look like you have like pink eye, but that's okay. Don't make them think that girl. <laughs> this is really old. This is my favorite highlight for eyes. It's MAC in the shade Nylon. And I usually just use my pinky finger and go right underneath my brow, my brow bone. And then just pop that in there, the highlight. And then the other one. Honestly, I have been using this mascara since since high school. It's the Maybelline Full and Soft Waterproof Mascara. This packaging is really shitty. <laughs> I took the packaging out of these lashes because I needed to use the plastic part. These are House of Lashes in the style Bador. Bador. And they look like this. And we're just gonna put glue on them. We're gonna wait for this to dry. I'm going to be using today is the Tarte Highlighter in Exposed and it just looks like this and I'm going to be using this weird brush that I stole from my mom. This brush actually says blush but I don't think I've ever seen anyone use a fan brush for blush that's weird. So we're just going to take this and highlight last is lips so Let's, this is probably my favorite shade right now, and I've been using it for like every day. But I'm gonna be using the Lippy Pencil in Skimpy. <laughs> I'm gonna be using the shade Skimpy, and we're gonna line lips with this. It's kind of out, so I'm gonna have to sharpen it. But. No, I don't wanna and we're gonna look a little crazy but then we're gonna take the ColourPop Ultra Matte in the shade Midi and honestly I don't like to cake this I don't really like to cake any lipstick on because I'm not that big into like lipsticks then we're just gonna set everything with Urban Decay setting spray, all nighter, and Okay guys, this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, you suck. Thank you for watching and see you guys, see you guys next time. Bye!